Um, this is something that concerns us greatly, and it's something that we've, we uh, certainly join with uh, Alison Humphrey in asking for more research into it. It's something that one of our own committees has written to the Minister of Health actually requesting more information on this, more studies, because it is really important. And so how does environment uh, it depends if you're talking about groundwater or surface water, but essentially you take a water sample, send it to a laboratory, it gets sampled, it gets tested. Um, in groundwater, which is mostly what we're talking about, it, that gets sampled, it varies, but between monthly to three monthly samples are done, it just depends which of the wells are, where they are. Okay, and, and what is the safe level of nitrate? Um, when you're talking about the safe level of nitrate, it depends on what you're talking about. We're talking about for drinking water, yes. and I should add that um, the, the territorial authorities who provide most drinking water to most people in New Zealand do their own testing, and they'll be testing that probably daily or weekly or, or much, much more frequently. What we're talking about is the nitrate across the region, just measured in wells, just to get a general idea on, on what it is. What's safe? That Well, the World Health Organization standard is, and the New Zealand drinking water standard is 11.3 milligrams per litre nitrate nitrogen uh, in your water sample. And I understand that level has recently been changed, is that right? No, no, it hasn't been changed. This study, um, the Danish study, and there have been other studies as well, has suggested that perhaps it should be changed, but it hasn't been changed. And there's been a recent review paper that done, uh, came out just after the Danish study, included the Danish study, which suggested that there wasn't enough evidence to make that change yet. That's why we're calling for more research on this, because we think it's something that needs to be looked at. So you would like a similar type study to be done in New Zealand? Yeah, I don't think it has to be just New Zealand. I think we could be combining in with other countries and, and doing this type of work. But I think it is a, a good place to do it. if. Uh, as I understand it, we do have very high colorectal cancer rates, so it seems a good place to do it. Yeah. Um, so we're talking about rural properties here, aren't we? We're not talking about the, um, the water that we're consuming if we live in the city, is that right? Uh, generally, that's right, yes. The Christchurch water supply, if you're talking about Christchurch, yes. Christchurch water supply comes from deep. The, the nitrate levels are very low, um, and major water source for that is actually from the Waimakariri River going into groundwater and those nitrate levels are very low. So generally what we're talking about is shallow groundwater taken in rural areas, yes. And is it a case where these, if there was potentially more information, rural people would need to get more robust filtering systems? Now, filtering won't do anything because it's dissolved in the water, yeah. but there are treatments that can be done to water for drinking water. And of course this is one of the things, the major use of water in your house is not drinking, it's actually for washing and other things. So drinking water can be treated, um, it, but it does cost. It's an expensive process. It's certainly expensive to do at a wide scale level like a city or something like that. Okay, yeah, I did read that, that it was absorbed almost like salt would be. Yeah, it's dissolved. Dissolved, dissolved okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's quite different, for yeah. example, from E. coli and, and um, other contaminants that you get in water, which are actually in the water, sit in the water, separate essentially, as opposed to dissolved, which will travel on through. Okay. You can't filter it out. So, yeah. So I saw um, in one of the articles, they did talk about the fact that they're a robust filtering type um, technology that, that can... Yes, yes there is, it's just filter. not a filter, but it's, no, a, it's, it's, it's something... Uh, there, well, there are two or three different sorts, there's an ion exchange, there's a kind of There are two or three different types of technology. What would we refer to them, um, just so that we can refer to the, you know, the um, person? Well, if you look up nitrate removal uh, okay. from drinking water, you can find them. There are but there are two or three different mechanisms. There's a reverse osmosis, there's another one. Um, distillation, in fact, those are the three now, think about it. Distillation, reverse os osmosis, and iron replacement, which is a, a, a chemical technique. So, 
something that probably annoys scientists and we obviously have to dumb things down for the public um, as if a 12 year old consumer able to understand the story so I think that's where um, the filtering yeah it's a technology yes. that um, improves the water quality okay great right. yeah. yeah I like that is there anything else you'd like to add um yeah, yeah, there is, and, and one is that when an environment can improve, recognise that nitrate in our water is a major issue. That's why we've been spending the last eight to ten years putting limits on farming, working hard to try and reduce the amount of nitrate. So, you know, it's a really important issue, it's something we take very seriously. Yeah, and it's something that we will potentially not know the effects for 10 to 20 years. Oh, we know the effects now, it's just that some of the impacts of the current um, agriculture that takes a while for that nitrate to get all the way through. Yes, but obviously there's more power now than there ever has been. There's greater agricultural intensification than there has been, yes. But, but, but I would point out that what I just said, that we've been putting limits on that, that's what we're doing, and we're, um, the, the point of that is to limit the amount of nitrogen that what is the limit? Um, so, so the way that we do that is based on a catchment scale, so it's based on a wider scale to say this is the total amount that can be put um, from farms, so it depends on each farm and, and um, limits are set on a farm by farm basis. Okay. Um, 